Welcome to Mooney Ponds. We're here with Ruby and Peter and we're going to be walking around Mooney Ponds. Mooney Ponds is known for its race course and iconic Australian comedian, megastar housewife. Hello possums! Oh. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Dame Edna, international icon, Australian national treasure. That would be Ruby growling of course, but not at Edna herself. Um, Edna, we understand what the Ponds stands for in Mooney Ponds, but what does the Mooney stand for? Mooney, it's an Aboriginal word meaning a meeting of the waters. All Aboriginal words mean that. Welcome to Queen's Park in Mooney Ponds. In the 1840s, this was very much pastoral settlement. By the 1850s, a lot of shops started to prop up along the way because people were making their way to the gold fields to strike it rich. Or not. By 1881 to 1883, subdivisions were starting to happen and homes started to prop up in the area and some hotels, including the Mooney Ponds Hotel and the Junction Hotel much later. The Mooney Ponds Hotel, unfortunately, was pulled down in the 1980s. It was built in 1849. The gardens you see around me here today, they were set aside in 1897. One of the ponds there were dredged and formed a lake. It was all in honour of Queen Victoria's Jubilee. Anyway, come along with Peter, myself and Ruby's with us today and we're going to show you some of the wonderful architecture around Mooney Ponds. I am beside a horse trough. Well, you can't see any horses here, but this is a, a relic of a bygone era. Now, it's actually part of the trust uh, distribution from a George Bills and his wife Annie Bills. They didn't have children, but they left their estate to animal welfare. I'm going to read you a little passage from, the, um, from their will. And it says, I empower my said trustees to construct and erect and pay for horse troughs wherever they may be of opinion that such horses troughs are necessary or desirable for the relief of horses or other dumb animals. Now I'm really concerned about that because in my opinion animals aren't dumb but it might be some sort of construct of words in bygone era, eras and they can be erected in Australasia or any other part of the world. I think there were over 500 of these type of horse troughs erected. So um, thank you very much George and Annis for these horse troughs. They were pretty popular up until the Second World War and then motor vehicles took over and they became less popular for horses. However, I understand that many drunken people that fell out of pubs may have ended up in one of these troughs in, in times gone by, even maybe in the present. Okay, little bit of history. Go 
built in 1880 for the purpose of the Essendon and Flemington Institute. It was purchased for use as the Essendon Town Hall from 1882 until 1974. Today it is an art performance and civic function centre. Well, the Mooney Ponds Heritage Walk brings us to 20 Grosvenor Street in Mooney Ponds. If you look to the building behind me, it is in need of some repair. Um, I suppose in its heyday it could have resembled a nice Edwardian building, but fairly simple in that as well. So if they're trying to get us to appreciate what neglect might be, um, we just might have a fine example of what's behind me. Uh, not necessarily typical of our walk through Mooney Ponds. Just finished our walk around Mooney Ponds. There's some wonderful architecture to be seen in the area. We actually covered quite a bit of ground, about six kilometres. The walk is part of the Mooney Ponds Heritage Walk, which can be picked up on the internet or at the courthouse, which is now the museum. Anyway, just another little bit of fact. Um, this area was also known for the Burke and Wills who came through this area and camped on their first night on their expedition, their fateful expedition of 1860. And I have mentioned to you about Birkenwells on previous videos. Anyway, 
that ends and concludes our day's walk so i hope you've enjoyed this heritage walk and we look forward to seeing you on many other adventures bye folks we'll see you next time